to these people who are reading Jane's story, and they're saying, me too, me too, me too. Two of them, I was like, you know, uh, I should introduce you to, because you, you know, we're in the same town at various points in your life, and also you share, like, I come from a, I come from, like, the sea level perpetrator with, like, the guy in the van down by the river. But, like, there's the sea level, then there's the B, and then there's the A. The sea level is my dad, who's, like, the guy in the van down by the river gets down, and, you know, like, he gets what he can, literally, his own kids. And then there's the B level that goes after ki kids that they have access to, that they're teachers, they're church counselor, uh, they run Boy Scout things, they, you know, they have access to a lot of kids. And then there's the A level that are rich motherfuckers and they traffic kids and they rape kids, okay? I'm sorry to bring that up, it's like, bummer, 140, what? <laughs> God, she's really depressing me. <laughs> uh, this is good news, the reason I wanna share this is these two survivors start telling me that they were in the A level, right? And they're sharing some things in the A-level that I happen to know a lot about, unfortunately, because I've heard thousands of stories. I'm like, yeah, I know, and I know about this, and I know about this. And they're like, and I knew about the towns that they were in. And I was like, I should link you two up. I hooked them up on Facebook, first on Twitter, then on Facebook. They saw each other's pictures on Facebook. They were in the same truck. They were in the same truck. They were like, Oh my God, what? So talk about, what? <laughs> talk about squish, I love you, squish, squish. And talk about the me's connecting. Those two women are now meeting each other in October. And any, any possibility that they ever thought, wow, I'm crazy. I meant, like that's the craziest thing ever. When, when, anything in their heads, so Stop raping kids, go fuck yourself. Just saying. <laughs> Any possibility in their brain that was like, I'm crazy, will be erased forever. When they look in each other's eyes and they like, it really did happen. And they too, they both escaped. And I just randomly like, well, wow, you both had the same story. And like, I don't come from trafficking. I don't know about the trucks. And like, I don't know, but I, I, I'm like, I had creepy weirdo guy in the van down by the river dad. Like, I don't know this stuff. I should link you two up so you can have a dialogue. I linked them up. They're in the same fucking truck. And, and they recognize each other and now they're meeting. And they're going to together help Jane escape. Wow. because somebody was in the Air Force and took the documentary and championed it through all the different levels of commanders until they got to the top and then they got it to every Air Force base. The power of connectedness is unbelievable. There's no distributor for this movie. There's no agent, there's no manager, it's the people. The people have this. I was just the vehicle through which it came and my name just happens to be Angela Shelton and I'm really proud to be one. My pocket. Me anytime, yeah. <laughs> that hug brought back side. Sorry. I had my uh, little clicker in my pocket there. Wow. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my t shirt, it'll make more sense to you later after hearing that. <clears throat> so stick around. Am I right? Yeah. All right. Just add a line. Yeah. Yeah. We will. Get a marker. 